Thanks so much, Marcus, for joining us here on RT International. Well, the State Department has actually threatened us not to target the U.S. vetted rebels. Uh, let's now take a listen. We've uh, cautioned Syria in the past not to engage uh, U.S. aircraft, and the Syrian regime would similarly be advised not to interfere with new Syrian forces uh, counter ISIL mission. So, uh, Marcus, what do you read into these words? I mean, is it just uh, merely caution for Bashar al-Assad, or is there something um, more that sh we should be reading into? Mm. I think we should take this warning very seriously because the American government uh, is attempting to overthrow the Syrian government by any means necessary, which of course contravenes uh, international, international law. And I think this warning should be absolutely condemned by the international community. But if I can take one step backwards, what on earth has happened in the world whereby America can tell another government not to target illegally armed forces on its own territory? The Syrian government is a legitimate government. The Syrian armed forces are the only uh, legitimate forces allowed to carry weapons in Syria. Those Islamist groups that the Americans are supporting are illegally trained, illegally equipped, and the Syrian government has every right to target them. No different to if they were um, illegally armed uh, personnel in America threatening the American government. So it really is an intolerable situation. And it shows once again the, the danger of American foreign policy in the Middle East. Uh, well, Marcus, let, let's uh, just uh, play uh, another soundbite here. That is of uh, Secretary of State John Kerry, who just yesterday explained how such actions are justified. Let's take a listen. Uh, we believe that uh, Assad and the Assad regime long ago lost legitimacy. So, um, in light of what he just said, how does it all fit in with international law? Well, it doesn't uh, fit in at all with international law. You know, Syria is an independent, sovereign country. Its borders are internationally recognized by all members of the United Nations, including the United States of America. John Kerry and Barack Obama can talk about uh, President Assad, and he is President Assad as having lost legitimacy. What does that mean? He's lost legitimacy. He is the legitimate leader of Syria. He is facing uh, an uprising, an Islamist uprising, and that uprising is being uh, financed, supported by America and its allies in the region, Turkey, Saudi Arabia and Qatar. No, the only party which is acting uh, illegitimately in this whole matter is America and her allies in the region. It's as simple as that. Mm. Well, the strikes have been authorized by Barack Obama himself uh, while Congress is on a break. What do you make of the timing? Well, that says a lot about uh, the state of democracy in America, and I also believe it's an abuse of Congress because, you know, this is quite a serious development or potentially serious development. And uh, America's elected politicians uh, at Congress should be allowed to discuss what uh, uh, Barack Obama is proposing and should be able to vote on the merit of it. The fact that uh, he's uh, made this uh, decision without consulting Congress, once again, as I said just now, I can only reiterate, says a lot about democracy in America and says a lot about President Obama's uh, contemptuous attitude towards Congress. And uh, let me just ask you one more question before we let you go. Uh, another key player here is Turkey that has launched airstrikes against uh, ISIL. But uh, at the same time, Turkey has been also targeting Kurdish troops um, who are considered to be the most capable anti-ISIL forces on the ground in the region. Um, how do you explain that? Turkey it has played and is continuing to play a duplicitous role in Syria. Turkey's actions have helped create ISIS in Syria. And now Turkey is portraying itself as a knight in shining armor there to fight ISIS. Nonsense. They helped uh, create this mess. But at the same time, um, Turkey has a very serious problem uh, with uh, Kurdish fighters. Um, in Syria and, of course, in Iraq. And they're using the, the threat of ISIS, which, as I said, Turkey helped create, as a way of tackling, um, as a way of tackling the Kurds. It's absolutely uh, ridiculous, the situation, whereby uh, Turkish planes are allowed to go and allegedly bomb ISIS, which they helped create, 
but then at the same time they're going to go and try to settle an old score with the Kurds. But once again Turkey has a blank check from America, it's allowed to act with impunity in the region and it shows once again uh, the dangers of American foreign policy set by America itself and also its allies in the region. Marcus Papadopoulos, an editor and publisher of Politics First magazine, thanks so much for talking to us.